Marlboro County and Sherrall, one of the two uh, oldest rivalries in South Carolina. Here come the Braves looking to go to 2-0 on the young season. And Marlboro County also looking to go to 2-0, but the ground game looking pretty good. Monty Pratt coming up with an injury here as looked like a big fella unfortunately uh, landed on him. That leads to a field goal. It's up and it's no good. So we are still scoreless. Marlboro County, their first possession. Jacob Evers handing off to D.C. Delvin Covington, a huge gain. But the drive would end on a Marlboro County fumble. Shiraz defense big all night long. Second quarter, Evers handing it off this time to Covington again. Another big run. Tack on 15 yards on the horse collar. Shiraz head coach Andy Poole is livid on the sideline. Once again, Braves clamp down on the defense and it stalls. Shiraz's next possession. Ganey off to Christian McCray. And McCray was big last week. He's big again for the Braves, picking up a big chunk of yardage. A few plays later, they're going to flip the ball here to Colts. And Colts is like shot out of a cannon. He is gone. Get the extra point good. And Sherrall's up 7-0. Braves loving it because they haven't beat Marlboro County in a while. You can see them all fired up and rightfully so. They won the Spirit Award last week. They should be fired up. At the end of the first half, Sherrall marches down the field. Another attempt for the field goal was no good, but it wouldn't matter as Sherrall picks up the win over Marlboro County, shutting out the Bulldogs in that explosive offense led by DC. 14-0 your final, and the Braves are 2-0 on the season after two games. Last year, Sherrall won two games the entire season, and they've already matched that two games into the season. Marlboro County falls to 1-1. One and one. Marlboro County, boy, they got themselves a big, big matchup next week. They've got some regrouping to do because they're going to go take on Zamir White in Scotland County in Laurenburg, North Carolina next week. As for Sherrall, yeah, they said bring on Mackby. Well, they're going to get him next week at home. That should be yet one heck of a ball game as Sherrall is off to a fast start in 2016. Congratulations to Andy Poole and his football program.